Hey guys, we're Live Makers. Um, we're trying something a little different. We're going to do, you know, podcast now. Uh, a little podcast. Yeah, so like we're, we feel like you don't need to see us for this shit. So we're just going to, we're just, gonna, talking. We're just gonna talk and like, you know, put some stuff up for y'all to see what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. And today's topic is Tucker Avengers. Now, out of all the Live Makers, me and Kobe, the only ones who are caught up on Tokyo Avengers. So we feel like, we're the best ones to talk about this with you guys. Um, oh, but yeah. Don't be mad at me if I'm a little behind on some information because I read this shit years ago. Yeah. Um, th- you heard it from Kobe. This has been out for years and like uh, he just been waiting for the right time to talk about it, I guess. I'm always waiting for the right time, bro. Hey, hey, look. I'm a manga reader now. I read manga. Mm-hmm. So now I'm going to catch up all these shows you've been talking about. So when you <laughs> talk about them, I won't be there looking stupid no more, you know? <laughs> so, um, but yeah, uh, first off, we're just going to give you a little synopsis, just in case you don't know what Tokyo Revengers is about. Mm-hmm. So, um, Cole, you think you can help me out with this? You know? Yeah, sure. Yeah. For the most part, Tokyo Revengers is about basically uh, Takamichi, who, at like, who, the beginning of his life, ran away from his home to escape the escape the bullying of the delinquents and throughout his life he just lived the very like sedentary very submissive he submissive and didn't really like act out very much he was always saying sorry to everything that came towards him Um, and then one day he founds out the girl he dated in middle school had died due to gang violence he don't know why it happened he felt very sad about it at the train tracks and then someone suddenly pushes him into the train tracks his life flashes before his eyes and next thing he knows he's 12 years into the past yeah and I'm just gonna start right there like I hope that was enough to get you guys interested in it um yeah like but as far as comparisons goes I'm gonna say that for the end of the video cause this anime reminds me of a lot of other shows mm-hmm. but um since we've already seen most Tokyo Avengers, we'll just talk about some things we saw. So, like, I'm going to start it off first. Like, um, one thing I noticed about Tokyo Avengers is that all the members in Tomon, on their uniforms, they wear, like, the swastika. Now, if you know anything about history, the swastika has kind of, like, a bad rep on it because mm-hmm. it was worn by... But it had a difference, like meaning behind it the nazis just happened to like use that symbol for their like own uh movement. Like insignia or movement yeah so like um the swastika is actually you know a buddhist symbol and it means peace you know like um like so <laughs> it wasn't used for no peace in tokyo revenge <laughs> Uh yeah, so uh, just keep that in mind. You know, the more the more you know, the more the less ignorant you are. You I know? guess they're really misusing it though, cause there's rarely ever any peace when it's involved. Yeah, these niggas are throwing hands. Like um, okay, like so another thing, or unless there's something you want want to point out. Tell your interest. Oh, uh, I'll point out that throughout anime this is probably one of the very few animes that actually depicts like uh, delinquent gang fighting through like middle school high school that type of shit cause I've read a lot of mangas like that where they have like delinquent fightings and them and those mangas are really good but they I don't see like animes for any of them the closest you could get to one would be like Bezobub and that's more like demons and shit. Yeah, I second you there, bro. Like, um, like, and let me remind you, these guys are in middle school. These niggas are like 14, 15 years old doing mm-hmm. all this shit. Fighting for their life. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Play that fucking meme. <laughs> I'm fighting for my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, Okay, so I want to talk about theories real quick. So, who do you think is the second time Leaper? We all thought it was Kisaki. Oh, that was a very cool moment with yeah. Kisaki. Like, he literally put it all together and he wasn't even a time Leaper. He's like, this man is fucking up my plans at every turn. 
I know he's not that smart. You must be able to go through time. And he and Takamichi believed it. He believed that he could go through time. Time until that nigga's like, I can't. You think I'm a time leaper? Nah, nah, I'm not. I'm just that smart and tenacious. Mm-hmm. So if he wasn't a time leaper, he definitely knew who the time leaper was. I mean, don't you think? Because I have some theories about who the time leaper could have been or could be. I don't think he knew. I don't think he knew. He was really focused on trying to get Hina and kill Takamichi. So I don't think he knew who the who the time leaper was. I think he was just kind of focused on his own goals. I looked like because every time Takamichi would solve a problem, he would go back to the future and it still wouldn't be fixed. Because as long as that nigga was alive, he was not going to stop. Mm-hmm. Uh, some might, some people I think that could have been a time leaper. I feel like it could have been. It's kind of controversial, but I think it could have been Hina. You know, it, <laughs> it, it, I, hear, hear, hear me out. You know, what type of conspiracy shit? <laughs> hear, hear me out. Maybe she just didn't want to live. You know, probably. Ah uh, yes, yes. She wanted. She wanted to die. She wanted to get hit by a car. Explode. That's why she had that meeting with that. With fucking Takamichi, so she could get blown up by Akun. Uh, okay, okay, but if it turns out she is a time leaper, I'm gonna come back to you and be like I told you. Mm-hmm, yeah, but, I'll, I'll accept that. I'll accept that, but, and I'll throw this story away because it'll be a bunch of bullshit. Okay, okay. <laughs> the set my my second theory on who could have been, maybe Hanum Hanuma. You know the dude with the tattoos on his hands. Like you mean that dude that was his right hand man? Yeah, yeah. Tattoos. On yeah, his hand. honestly. Yeah, part of me kind of thinks that, but kind of part of me, another part of me also thinks he was kind of going with the flow. I don't know what he's doing now. I don't remember what he's doing now, though. Yeah, like, um, he's just, he's just loyal to Kasuki, and whatever Kasuki wants to do, he'll do it, as long as he gets to, like, fight and shit, so. Yeah, you know, is he even doing anything right now, though? I don't think so. Like, um, like, in the future, we saw him kind of, like, you know, mourning over Kasuki, he was like yeah. sitting in his grave drinking, doing some shit. Like smoking yeah. Drinking, like. But but like so I don't know what he's doing. But okay, last one. But is and there even a time second time leaper though? That that's a good question. We feel like there is. You know, we never got to answer that question after Cause Tatsuki it, died. So. Because I don't know. I don't think there's a time leaper. Because for the most part, the main the main problem is. Trying to like uh, stop Mikey from going like all dark mode and shit, cause that always happens. Like even with Kisagi gone, he still chooses to to shut everyone out and go like completely dark mode. Yeah, well, like Mikey, he's not. It's funny you mentioned Mikey because I think he's also could also be the time leaper. Come that, on, don't, bro. that doesn't make sense either. Why would I, he do I know, all that? Okay, okay. Here's why. Why would he let his sister die? Okay, okay. Maybe he figured out how to do this shit like after it happened. I don't know. But okay, here's my theory why. Okay, so you remember when, you know, Tagamichi went back to time, everything's perfect and shit, except mm-hmm. only Mikey is the only one that kinda went rogue and mm-hmm. shit. So he goes back in time after like, you know, shaking hands with Mikey, and Mikey realizes in the past that he's back. You know, how did he know that? Because he told he told them, they told he told them he literally let loose the whole secret that he's tw- that he's from twelve years in the future. No, but how did he know he was back the moment he came back to the past? I'm talking about when, when he came back ten years into the past. Oh, when Remember? he came back ten when, years when he started a new game and everything. Oh, by this time, Tommy was disbanded, so he started a whole new game. He had probably like a few other people from Tomlin in his new game. Yeah. They just, I think, did some kind of shakedown or some shit. And Mikey look, was looking at his hands like, oh, so you're mad talking to me. So I'm reading the manga like, what the fuck? Like, how does he know? Maybe. I don't even remember that part. I'm going to need to look at that part. Yeah, yeah I'm going to have to show you. But for the most part, the, the most I can chalk that up to is because he his personality kind of does a 180 whenever he comes back. I see. Because, oh, like, Takamichi, when he time leaps, the dude that's left is just, like, a person that doesn't know what the fuck going on. Mm-hmm. So, I that that's a part that really just, 
they don't really go into like what the fuck is Takamichi is that Takamichi doing? Yeah, because like how does he not fuck everything up? So, so that's what I'm saying. Like at one point, I was like, "Hey, you should just stay in the past because the you in the past just fucks shit up." Okay, remember when he came back and he woke up in like I don't know this club or some shit, and like who was that? Emma. She was like half naked. Yeah. And she's like, "Oh shit, I cheated on uh, Hina or some shit." Yeah, which is I really funny that. by the way. Yeah, that was like, funny. Cause he's like, "Oh, I, I can't let." can't let uh let her find out and then she's right behind him let, let me let find let out find what out. like who bitch was that like what bitch was that like <laughs> she said that shit so calm it kind of reminds me of that moment like I don't know if you see my hero two, two heroes when like um uh Urawa just suddenly appears behind Deku <laughs> when he was with another girl or some shit uh but yeah um that's a good question. Like, I do be wondering, like, okay, what's the talking beach in the past doing that could probably fuck shit up, you know? Does he actually go through change? Because uh-huh. fucking all this shit is happening around him, but we don't know how to fuck, like, Takamichi, who doesn't, like, who, the, like, past Takamichi is actually acting with, like, the new stuff. You, we all know what he did when he ran away, but now that he's making all these changes, what the fuck is that Takamichi doing? I don't, I don't, I don't think we'll ever find out because um, from what I hear, Tokyo Revengers is, is in his last arc, you know. Mm-hmm. So I don't think honestly, yeah, is gonna... that is the around the last arc should yeah. be. Yeah, like like this last arc is la- this is the last one. So I don't think the, arc, the mangaka is gonna go ahead and give us some context, which is sad because mm-hmm. I think it could be really interesting, you know. But uh, but yeah, um, we talked about this before we started recording. Tattoos in uh, Tokyo Avengers. Yeah. Like, bro, I don't know why, but the tattoos are just really simple, but they stand out so much. I think it's because of the placement, you know? Yeah. Like, Draken's got a big-ass dragon tattoo on his head. Mm-hmm. Like, Hanuma has two big tattoos on his hands. And, like, future Mikey has one on his neck. So I'm just like... What is it about the tattoos that like really? Well, I I think this is why. I, this I feel is like, like it's just like a good design choice for them. Yeah, and like you know, what tattoos? Um, I think they're being used correctly for once. Cause back then, if you had a tattoo, you were immediately associated for being like gang affiliated, right? Yes. And this anime, all these niggas are gang affiliated, so it makes more sense for them to have tattoos, right? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, today people just do that shit for aesthetic, you know. Yeah. Draken got his tattoo when he was like in elementary school. What that tattoo artist doing? Somebody call fucking call the police. This man is tattooing kids. I swear that shit is illegal. Bro, it kind of reminds me of like, okay, you remember watching The Hangover 2? Yeah. You know, when they were in the tattoo shop? He yeah. This was tattooing a nine year old? I didn't, I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember that. I was like, okay, so I guess depending on what place you are, you can get away with that shit. You know? I mean, so, yeah. He was born in like a soap land in like a prostitution house. So, they they who who who's gonna who's gonna who's gonna get mad about that? Yeah. Not his parents. He ain't got none. The prostitutes no. They don't care. Yeah, you know, since you brought up Jockin, I'm just going to talk to him, talk about him, bro, because this nigga's my favorite character, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, definitely the most mature character in the show. The, the nigga just. Like, he exudes coolness, bro. Mm-hmm. It's just like, from what this nigga wear, how this nigga talk, you know, it's like, I don't know, this nigga would fit really well in hip-hop, I imagine, you know? If he was like a rapper or some shit. <laughs> Fucking tall-ass, lanky-ass nigga. I don't know, he, he, looks, he looks like, I don't know, like, somebody that used to do K-pop or some shit, I don't know. Like, what? K-pop? Nah. Like, okay, like, you know, I don't know if you know, you probably know what K-pop like, K-pop, all the niggas like, in K-pop don't have their fucking sides fucking I said off. somebody that used to be in K-pop. Used you know? to be. Like, like some nigga that just... Well, then again, they have genres like, like you know, like uh, K-hop or some shit. I don't know. I still say him with one of those niggas. But anyway. Mm. But, but yeah, like, Draken, like, like uh, one of the things... Have I seen... Have they shown him with his hair down or something? Yeah, they have. Like, Remember when he went to like the funeral for um Emma? His hair was down there. He oh, was shit. his hair was also down when they were like in like the bathhouse or some shit. Oh shit. So like but but yeah, uh 
one thing about uh, Draken is like, you know, he really, I think it has a lot to do with the battle at 8 3. Cause that's when we re- he really got like a lot of development. He learned more about his character and shit. Mm-hmm. And like, even talking to Michi, he was like, hey, you know, when he went to his house, or, you know, what, what do you call it? Prostitute house or whatever? Yeah. When he went there, he was like, okay, I can understand why Draken is so mature, you know? Yeah. Because of where he grew up and shit. Uh,. I don't know why he's living there. They never really explained his that. His parents dropped, like, he was just dropped off there. That's it? Yeah. I'm thinking, like, you know, one day at work, the prostitute, like, accidentally got pregnant or some shit. And nah, like, nah. So, someone had him there and like, he left him there. Because that, that's the case with somebody like Levi Ackerman and from uh, Attack on Titan. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't think it's, like, that much, like, put into it. Like, they it's not really... I don't think it's something they're going to come back to like that. He's no, I, just I like someone who is... He just like... Because it happens. Yeah. It happens. They fucking... They, they will drop off their baby and not... And leave it there. Never contact it. Ever. Uh, Probably don't even know what it, what he looked like. I see. So he's in orbit. <laughs> like, like, yeah, he's an orphan. I said Norbit. Uh, Norbit. What is that? Like okay, you never seen the movie. No, okay, uh, we're getting off topic. Well, fuck it. Uh, but yeah. Um, and then like, Draken has, he has this like bond with um Mitsuya, Mitsuya, right? I think that's what he said. Uh, shit, like, or is it Mitsu? Yeah, Mitsuya. What do he look like? So he he's got like the undercut earring, uh, like blonde hair. I'm gonna just I'm I'm gonna just tell you about the relationship. So like yeah. basically, you know, Draken and Misha, they met when they were like little, and he Draken saw Misha like spray paint a dragon, which he which is his tattoo. Mm-hmm. And Draken was like, hey, you know, they, they made a bet, and Misha lost or some shit. It's mm-hmm. like, okay, that dragon tattoo is mine. So the next day, like um, Draken gets the tattoo, only to find Misha got the same ass tattoo on his head. So he was like, man, I told you, I caught this on his tattoo. So like so, Misha just basically grew out his hair. So that's why we can't see the tattoo no more. So. Yeah. But yeah, but from then on, they they called themselves like the Twin Dragons. Okay. It was it was a really cool moment. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm gonna talk about dropping a lot in this video. So get used to it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, another thing I want to touch on, bro. Like, this anime is really popular among female fans. This well, is what, yeah. This is why. What what That's I was understandable because it's a bunch of boys fighting. Yeah, they but all good looking and shit. Yeah, but I would expect them to like some shit like High Q or fucking what's the swimming anime free. Well, see, here's the thing that's in common: they're good looking. They good looking. They good looking. They like Jujutsu Kaisen too, cause that nigga good looking. Mm. They like cute niggas. Okay, but like, I think this. I think my hero can also be thrown into nah, this. Nah, nah. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Hold I, on. I agree with that statement. You going with Like, I think over, my hero... Over 77% of fans of my hero are female. Wow. So this Max. explains all the shippers and shit. <laughs> so... Oh, yeah. Well, then, yeah. Then definitely for fucking... But uh, I really hope Tokyo Avengers doesn't... Doesn't get caught in that toxicity that like my hero. It has. already is. It already is. Yeah, it, it but, really. I mean, no, like, I mean, the whole shipping thing. Yeah, of course, because to like Tokyo Revengers, like, is a bunch of dudes fighting each other and creating bonds with each other. How many females you see in that? Two. They got like two females, maybe uh, three, counting that bitch from the church. Uh, 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 you wanna know what the person like my friend Leo? <laughs> yeah, I I showed him that shit. He's like, that nigga's gay. <laughs> he likes the show, but that nigga's gay. <laughs> well, you saw Tony Richards? Yeah. And like fucking my sister, the same thing. She's like, these niggas gay. She liked the show, but these niggas are gay. How are they gay exactly? I mean oh, be careful literally, what you say. literally be, be careful fucking, about this. Literally the fucking Drak and Mikey relationship. Like, remember, like, the first few, like, when fucking... They're just, they're just buddies, right? When Taco... Yeah, of course. Yeah, they're buddies. But fucking, like, damn. You always around this nigga. 
You you carrying them places. You putting a flag on his kid's meal. Bro, like he I mean like yeah, bro, I, I I don't You like, you don't you don't see the like our Jargon is like a big brother to him, basically. Yeah, I know. You know? Yeah. So like that's all I, I didn't But they're not it. real brothers. And no. so to other people's eyes, that's gonna look hella gay. <laughs> Bro, I just think they had a, I just think they're that close, you know what I'm saying? Like I mean, yeah, that type of yeah, relationship. They are that close. But still to the other person's eye, they that that's Bruh. just what's gonna come to mind. I, I, I never got that vibe. They're I pretty just... niggas and they hang around each other a lot. They're hella they're 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 ridiculously close. Yeah, it's gonna look and they're not they have no no fucking blood relations. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna ship that shit immediately. And they're gonna see that gay. That's the re- I'm not saying this gay, but like that's what they're gonna see. Uh, okay, I, I guess you, bro. Me personally, I didn't see that. I just thought like you know they had like that brotherly bond or some shit. Cause if you see, cause if you see, see two girls do shit like that, it'd be like, oh, they're just you know. Like, what about the Naruto Sasuke shit? Naruto Sasuke. Gay. Gay. <laughs> gay. <laughs> yeah. Gay. That shit is gay. Like, right. Takamichi chasing these niggas everywhere. Uh, okay, and- okay. At least, at least, Jock and, and Mikey didn't kiss like Sasuke and Naruto did. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah of course. But well, fucking, uh, I mean, like, no, nigga just fell. He, nigga was acting goofy and he yo, fell into his fucking yo, mouth. Got yo, bumped. Yo, there's this meme out there. It reads like the nigga that pushed him. Like, hey, Sasuke, Naruto, Naruto Sasuke to jump that nigga right after class. <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, I can believe it. But, but, but yeah, um, I don't know. I never got that. Okay, like, so, I, I want to keep talking about, like, the female fan base, basically. So, like, I, maybe females are helping the series become more popular, you know? Because, like, around, around the time the anime came out, mm-hmm. I think a lot of female fans were kind of keeping it posted, you know? Mm-hmm. So, so, what I'm saying is, I feel like they're helping the community grow a little bit more. And it's good to see more female fans in Shonen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, like, I don't know, not a single female fan that likes Dragon Ball Z. Agreed. <laughs> but they love My Hero. They love Attack on Titan. They love Naruto. They love Naruto and all that shit. But, like, when it comes to, like, the real gritty fighting, like, DBZ and Berserk, zero. Yeah. You know? They want to see pretty niggas. They want to see show. They want to see Them pretty niggas But a lot of these Pretty niggas In um, Tokyo Avengers are, are like Getting their teeth Knocked out Bleeding Getting punched in the gut And they still looking pretty <laughs> Oh my god Get the fuck out of here I like Like Dragon Stabbed On the floor About to bleed out Still looking like A pretty nigga <laughs> That's why Mikey I- Gets hit Fucked over, still looking like a pretty. He at his saddest moment, still looking like a pretty nigga. That's nah. why. I, that's why I said he looked like a nigga from K-pop. I said that shit earlier, bro. Yeah, but uh, but but yeah. Um, I mean, at least definitely Mikey. But yeah, like uh, an- another thing, bro. Like you know, uh, Tugger Avengers isn't afraid to get dark. I feel like it get darker. I mean, literally, it gets dark with the first interaction with the Mobius game, which like because. One of Pacha's friend got his ass beat, and they also like beat up his girlfriend and raped her. Yeah, yeah, they did say that. Yeah, like, let's use the word assault. Assault. Yeah, let's, assault. let's, just, let's just say. Are that. they censoring this? Is this censored? No, no, no. They 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 did say they did say that, but for this video, let's <laughs> use assault. You know, so. uh, but but yeah, um. Shit, later on we see guns come into play. I was yes. like, oh shit. Like, guns are hard to get in Japan, so it's really like, it's a major signal when someone whips that shit out. Yeah. Uh, this one they said, whipped it out recently in the latest chapters. Yeah, and like, speaking of guns, like when Mikey, future Mikey shot Takamichi, yeah. I was like, shit, that nigga, if that scene would have played down, Takamichi would have definitely died, I feel like, you know? So, Honestly, yeah, he did die. Yeah, yeah. He but he went back, so he's gotta he's kinda gotta change shit or he's gonna stay like it's happened multiple times before where like Takamichi's been shot, about to die, and he goes back in time and fixes shit. Mm-hmm. And then like Just so, like with uh Naruto. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh but but yeah, like I just wanted to say like, you know, I'm glad that Tokyo Revengers isn't afraid to be dark 
I feel like a lot of anime are getting soft these days, you know? Just shows are real gritty shit. Because, like, because, you know, most of us are, like, 17 through 30 watching anime anyway. Yeah. So, like, at least that's what I feel like. You know, I feel like everybody else watching, like, you know, uh, what 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 the fuck? Teen Titan Go or some shit. <laughs> but... But yeah, uh, really good. Really glad to see that that dark anime come back. You know, not not quite like the '90s feel. You know, but it's getting there. So, yeah. but, '90s uh, feel was more like blood guts. You see, have you heard of Ninja Scroll? Yes, yes, yes I have heard of Ninja, Ninja Scroll. Scroll type shit. Yeah, yeah, that's the shit I want. Even even stuff like Inuyasha could get really dark. You know, just because yeah. it's a '90s anime. You mm-hmm. know, but. Uh, I can go on Inuyasha, Hunter Hunter for show, um, Yu Yu Hakusho, mm-hmm. which is being Dragon Ball Z and ratings, by the way. Um, yeah, so JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, the the before the two thousands edition, the I, the I over. I don't know. I like this new JoJo shit. That shit is like that's that's but yeah, like. new JoJo is also like I think that shit's uncensored on Netflix. Probably. I saw it, I saw it like usually they have that it shit is. censored. It it is it is. I've been watching JoJo lately. Yeah, like seeing that shit uncensored is like just a, whoa. I was like, damn. Yeah, uh, um, I, I, okay. Uh, this is probably gonna be a long topic, but let's get it out the way. I want to talk about character bonds. We already talked about Jock and Mikey. Mm-hmm. So I guess we can skip them. Um, what about Takamichi and Naoto? You know, what do you, how do you feel about their bond? Like, like, um, does it remind you of somebody else, or is it? Uh, like, I don't know. Like specifically, remind you of someone else. It's a bond that you don't really get to like see too much of because you only you only see it when he comes back and sometimes when he comes back he's not really talking to that nigga that much because he's dealing with the ramifications of what he's done in the past that changed the future so like you really can't get into that bond very much but it it's a good bond i see yeah like i think it's a healthy bond at least you know what i really fuck with is his bond with his lieutenant you talking about Misuya? Yeah. Or, or is it Ch- Chifuyu? I yeah, think. Chifuyu. Yeah, Chifuyu. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely. Bro, he was like the first person he told he could time leap, you know? Yeah. So now he has somebody that he can trust. When they um, pulled up to the church, he was, and he was like, yeah, I'm here too. I'm, I'm here too. We gonna fight him too. Yeah, yeah. Like, the brawl um, at the church was just so, it was a good ass fucking like, like arc that was a good ass arc it, it was what's that what's that dude's name uh fuck Hawkeye's brother I wanna uh, talk, talk about him the, too I think it was the leader of Tenjiku oh no was he leader of Black Dragons I mean no Black Bob. Dragons alright Black Dragons no, no no the Black Dragons was Zanasu oh uh Mikey's brother yeah like, Mikey's brother led Black Dragons and didn't that guy take over? The one, the one that, um, the Haiku's brother, the nigga who was fighting in the church. Yeah. I think it was the leader of the group called Valhalla. Valhalla? No, Valhalla doesn't have a leader. Oh, you must be talking about Hanuma. I'm talking about Hawkeye's brother. The dude with the scar on his lip. Oh. And right. the design in his hair. That guy, his brother. Oh. Yeah, didn't he lead Black Dragons? Wait a minute! No, no, no! Wait, wait! What the fuck? Hold up! Designer is the fucking type in the the a picture of this nigga. Okay. I gotta see like who you talking about. Okay. So. Name. All Okay, so you mean this dude, right? Yeah, yeah. You're talking about his brother. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, his brother. Yeah. Didn't he? Wasn't he the leader of Black Dragons? The niggas that tried to jump Takabichi. When when uh, Hawkeye and um, Hina was there. Mm. Remember, remember they were just walking down the street and like, hey, you you in our territory, the Black Dragons? Yeah, yeah. Well, when he was walking with him, when he was going with him, yeah, they tried to fucking jump him. 
They did jump him. They fucked him up. But like, yeah. Uh, but, but whatever. Like, so you you were talking about um Chifuyi, right? Yeah. Like, ride or die, dude. Like, like when he was like came with that time when they went into the future and they and Takamichi had become like one of the crime bot bot sub bosses. Bosses Chifuyu was still his like right hand man and shit. Mm. So he noticed that. He also noticed how Takamichi had changed. After like the elite, mm. leave. So he knew. I think he knew when he like changed back. He's like, ah, it's the old Takamichi. Oh, uh, you saw Chifu, you right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So um, I don't know. I just like how he's supportive and how he's actually helping him. You know, fix it. You know, yeah. Takamichi's been doing this shit by himself. He hasn't told nobody. So he tells him, and things kind of get better. You know, because he has help now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Thank so you. I really like that bond. Um, I ain't gonna lie, like I wasn't too interested in Bachi, Bachi and uh, Kasutora, but after I found out the shit they did to Mikey's brother, I'm like, oh man, like shit. Like, oh yeah, that I really, I really like that part because fucking, just just the way the way it was kind of like turning out. Uh huh. Oh, because like Mike, Mikey really had the choice of like this man killed your brother. Accident or not, he killed your brother, and you get. And this is like one of the main points to stop Mikey from turning evil. And I'm just like, how do you stop this man? Cause he, cause he definitely wants to kill him. Mm-hmm. And I think yeah. like the, yeah, Mikey said this at Bloody Halloween. He's like, hey, I always wanted to kill you, you know. So, mm-hmm. Remember that when it's like all and shit. I think. Yeah, yeah. But fucking. That was a good moment. I think who sucked? I think Baji sucked K- Kisaki. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, when they were on that trash pile and he got stabbed. Who stabbed him? Yeah, no. Then his bro stabbed him and then fucking homie's just like, nah, nah. He ain't killed me. Takes it out and stabs himself. He's like, I killed me. Mm. So you don't need to kill you don't need to kill him. You don't need to kill him, Mikey. And then he passed on his fucking uh, regiment to uh, uh, Takemichi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. Like, I-, I thought that shit was hard. Because, like, I mean, like, bro. And you could see how deeply affected Mikey was, you know? Because, yeah. like, bro, at, at this, up to this point, Mikey lost his brother. Baji's, like, one of his close, close friends, you know? Mm-hmm. Later on, he's going to lose his sister. One of the niggas so, that like, started, he started the group with. Yeah, so it's like, you know, because like, at first, I didn't get it. I didn't think, I didn't know why he cared about him so much, but then I saw the backstory. That's, this is why backstories help uh, mm-hmm. a lot. Make you actually care about the character, especially when they die, you know? Mm-hmm. And, like, um, I, I really liked it, the little backstory but, about how Kasutora and Baji met. They met so organically, bro. They were just in class and like, hey, you know, you know you're doing this the math problem wrong, right? He's like, mm-hmm. Oh shit. Baji had on glasses and shit. And he's like, Man, I'm trying to man, I, I really thought I could like be like a model A student or some shit. But he's like, Man, fuck this shit, I'm I'm just, I'm in I'm in the game, you know. And <laughs> they totally him, on some shit. They fucking yeah. robbed that store. Homie was like, I'ma kill this dude and he killed the dude and it was his brother. Yeah, man, like bro, sh- I was so shocked. I was like, cause that, cause Doctor did a really good job. We knew Mikey had a brother. We just didn't know it was him. I guess, like, but um, it was a really good plot plot twist. I love that shit. I hope we see more of those. Uh, another relationship, bro. Um, smiling and angry. Like, <laughs> them niggas are just funny to me, bro. They're just yeah. polar opposites. They don't really go too much into them. They, they really don't. like. They went into them for like a split second near like the end of the battle near fighting the. What, what, what battle was that? What was it? what was the group called that was led by Zanasu? Zanasu. Uh, what battle was it? It wasn't eight three. It wasn't bloody Halloween. They already fought Valhalla and shit. I forget what battle that was. I think it was Tenjiku. Tenjiku. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah they were Tenjiku. Yeah, fucking, like, but yeah. The only thing we find out is like you know, Anchor has this 
blue ogre form or some shit. Yeah, when he starts fucking crying, he he was whooping niggas' asses. And apparently that makes him stronger than Smiley. That's yeah. really it. Yeah, that was that was it. They they kind of they kind of pulled that out their ass a little bit. Yeah, like I was like, okay. That didn't make me really care too much about them. You know? I mean, I was really liking what was going on, but it also did feel like they pulled it out their ass. Yeah, but maybe, hopefully, they'll flush them out in this next arc. I doubt it, because okay. Tony Rich is almost over. They so. are, they already disbanded the group, so... And they have a whole new set of niggas in that I feel like some of them I should remember, but I'm like, I don't know. I don't know who you niggas are. I only remember the ones I like, so that's really it. But um, uh, another one. Um, what about Emma and Hina? You know, like eh, we, that was okay. I mean, like, I, okay. Here's here's what I didn't get. I didn't get why fucking um Hina forgave Emma so easily, especially when she tried to get. Cause they got to talking. She's not a. Does Hina even seem like someone to even hold any sort of type of grudge? No, but. I mean, and she could clearly tell that she that um, Emma liked Draken. Okay, I guess maybe that's just woman's intuition, you know. Yeah. Do some shit to get another guy like you, you know. And I, I guess, but if that, but if we were niggas. We'd like, hey, what you doing, with my bitch? You know? <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry. I was just trying to get to my girl to like me, what but with my bitch. No. Man, I, don't know. I, I think that would go. It's not like she knew anyway. I, I guess not, but. She know that she didn't like know she he had a girlfriend. Only Takamichi would have known, and that was past Takamichi. But I'm curious, how did past Takamichi get himself into that predicament? Like the sweet talker, cause like she was half naked when when he came back. So. She wanted to do that cause she wanted to fucking uh, make uh, Draken jealous. So it wasn't really him. I don't think it was really Takamichi sweet talking. I think it was more of her just like seduce coming on to him and him okay. just like hell yeah. <laughs> she hot as fuck. Hell yeah. Uh that 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 totally would have worked on me. <laughs> but yeah, fucking uh, uh but, but yeah, um uh, I guess other Mikey and Emma, you know? I I like that backstory too. So, the whole series, I was wondering, okay, Mikey's Japanese. Why does he have an American name, you know? Mm-hmm. So, Emma, she was Japanese, but she was given the American name Emma. Mm-hmm. So, because Mikey's name is like, what, Sano, right? Something like that? Yeah. So, um, so he was like, okay, you know, to make you feel more comfortable here, I'll change my name to Mikey, you know? Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, that's really, that's really touching, you know? I don't think I, I see that a lot. In anime, to go them going through the great links, like changing some kind of aspect of their character for somebody else, you know. Bro, like, like, my favorite bond was fucking Zanasu and what's his name, the nigga with the scar on his face. Zanasu and scar on his face. Um, Is his servant? Hmm. Okay, who's Zanasu? Like. Zunasu is the leader of fucking uh, Tenjiku. Mikey's like a uh, non blood related brother. You Izuna? No? Not Izuna, no. Wait, no. I think that was Izuna. That's what was his name. What was his name? Izuna? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Izuna. The nigga with the earrings? Yeah. Like, yeah, the yeah, long Izuna. earrings. Yeah, that who, nigga. That's who, what who I meant. Who the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. Fucking, I don't remember these names specifically. There's a lot of names I have to remember. I think I think I do know somebody with a scar, but I, I can't pin the name. That was in the battle, the final battle with Kisaki. Okay. And the dude who had the scar on his face, that big ass scar, who was childhood friends with fucking uh, Takamichi. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um. And he came in and he was whooping everybody. He came into the battlefield and was whooping everyone. Like, what the fuck? Shit. Let me see. Uh, I don't know his name, bro. But. Um, Do you remember Isana dying? 
Yes, I do. I do. The person Percy shot was, him. Yeah, the person that was right beside him. Hanuma? No, Hanuma? No, no, no. He doesn't have a scar. The one who was literally holding hands with, with that nigga. Fuck, man. The person he blocked. The reason Izuna caught the bullets and jumped. Because he jumped in front of that dude. Uh, fuck, I can't remember, bro. I can't. Like, do you got pictures I, or something? Like, looking... <laughs> ah. Fucking. Uh, I was just like If y'all know his name Just describe him And put Tokyo Revenge That's what I was saying He got a big ass scar On his face Literally gigantic <laughs> <laughs> Nigga when I When I hear scars On the face I'm th- The only people I think of Is Kakashi Zoro um, Fucking I don't know That Fujitsura The blind uh, I think of uh, The wind Hashira From Demon Slayer Yeah oh, like Ka- it, There's a lot of Kakusho with- This nigga Oh, oh no, no wonder. I, I didn't even fuck with this nigga. That's why I didn't even bother to remember his name. Okay. That nigga literally came in and was whooping everybody's asses on the battlefield. I, I, okay, I don't remember that part. <laughs> this nigga, how do you not remember this man? This I, I, just, I just didn't care for him. He was you literally know? a heavy key character in that whole battle. Bullshit. What the, he was taking. Okay. He was the first nigga to get shot. Kisugi shot that nigga in the back. He was like, what the fuck? Why are you talking all that shit? Because he was stopping Izuna from... He was telling Izuna, we've lost. We've already lost. You need to stop. And Kizuna was like, what the fuck? And shot him in the back. Then he was going to unload some more on that nigga. And then fucking Izuna blocked the bullets. Okay, okay. I remember that part. All right. I remember Izuna... The whole thing about Izuna getting shot, I remember. Yeah. I know he blocked for somebody. I, I guess I just didn't remember it was him. You know? Yeah. Okay, I remember that part. My my bad. <laughs> now talk more about their relationship, I guess, you know. They were the relationship like literally like I think Kakucho's parents had died, I forget how, and he had that big ass scar on his face, so everyone was fucking just like like uh fucking like he was childhood friends with Takamichi, but after his parents died he had to like go away mm-hmm. somewhere and like so now he was orphan with a big ass scar on his face and everyone fucking just was like just like kind of shutting him. They didn't want to be near him. They they thought it was weird. But fucking Izuna just comes up upon him and he's just like, you want to be my servant? Mm. Everybody's like, what? <laughs> and basically that's how it all started with them too. I see. Okay. And, All right. and that's why he, and he's been with Izuna ever since since as his like basically right hand man his servant had a king and servant relationship and that's why he blocked the bullets because that's why he blocked the bullets that was coming at at Kuchigo because he because Kuchigo was the last thing that Izuna actually had Izuna didn't have anything else left. Left. He's like he felt that he had nothing, but when he really thought about it, about it, and he saw that Kuchigo was gonna die, he's like, I don't want that. That is the last thing I have, and I will not let y'all take that from me. I will not let y'all take this man from me. Shit. Okay. That's it's, a gay shit. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's all coming back to me now. All right. I do remember that little backstory. It's just. Okay, it's just like literally, like when they was about to die holding hand, they was thinking back about into like their childhood when they first because when they were when I they remember, died, snow was coming down. Yeah, okay, I remember that part too. He did hold hands with somebody. I thought they both had died initially, but it was just yeah. Izuna he had died. Yeah, okay, because they both got shot, but Izuna, yeah. his he, was fatal. You know? Yeah, he. Yeah, Kakucho lived though. I I see now. Okay, like um, all right. Thanks for explaining that to me. Uh, I'm gonna have to re-read the manga Cause Shit like, I mean shit There's a lot of shit I don't remember either Yeah But Okay I just wanna talk about One more relationship 222 so, chapters It's a pretty short manga You know Like Wait. it's kind of, Demon Slayer is like 200 plus 200 chapters is a short manga If you think yeah. about it you know? Yeah But But yeah um, One relationship I wanna talk about 
Takamichi and Mikey, you know, mm-hmm. one thing about their relationship is they have a dynamic. Takamichi, he's constantly saving everybody, you know, becoming a better character and shit like that. Mikey, he's just getting stripped. He lost his best friend. He lost his sister, his brother. And he's just going, like, way down the deep end, you know? Mm-hmm. He's just progressing towards darkness, and it seems like he can't be stopped, you know? Yeah. So, like, they have that little dynamic going on, which is good. Uh, a lot of people think Takamichi is a realistic character. And what do you think about that? Because I feel like, realistically, if you're getting your ass whooped like that, you should learn how to fight and not get your ass whooped. I mean, you can't really learn how to fight. Like, there... Cause like that's kind of this is kind of the accurate shit. You're, you're you you can't just learn how to fight like that. Your build your build also takes like the into account, and there's also being a natural born fighter. Most of these dudes are natural born fighters. They're in middle school. There's not really much you can do or train for. Uh, okay, but like, what about in shows? Like, have you seen? Kenichi Mighty, Mightiest Warrior. That niggas being trained by literal fucking like martial gods. Them niggas, the nigga was. You can't compare those two. That nigga is literally being trained by the martial god figures of their their own like little tech of their own techniques like Mutai, uh, fucking Kempo, Karate, all them fucking shits. Dude, them niggas are doing ungodly stuff. That's not realistic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bad comparison. Uh, uh, okay, what about some shit like I don't know the boss anime? Uh, Umpo. Hajime no Ipo? Yeah, okay, what about that shit? You know? Like, but that's like, that was more like a. a that That's a training. You have an actual trainer. You're training for stuff. You're in like a, a ring matches and shit. This ain't no ring match. You have to you, you, the this like this is anywhere. You you're on the street. You're walking down the street. Bah. Yes, uh, melee. You, okay. You, you you in the store eating. Bah. It don't it don't matter. You don't have you don't really have time for that. I see. Okay, so I guess like me, she's gonna learn how to fight then. But right. like, I, I mean, but like, okay, what's that the was his thing though? That's the reason why Mikey liked him in the first place because he was like he wasn't strong but he still fought he mm-hmm. still fought he fought a battle that he knew like he's gonna fucking lose but he still kept getting up and fighting it uh, okay but I've heard this never give up story so many times especially in our show mm-hmm. so like I'm just thinking like okay what makes him special you know his like, charisma that's literally the charisma yeah nigga Jockin Mikey got more charisma than this nigga like, no, that, but that's the thing like cause everyone else like in the final like in the battle with Tenjiku everyone else was getting their ass well they were on the ground and this motherfucker Mikey he's still fighting he's still he's getting knocked around as much as everyone else and he's still getting up you mean Mike Takamichi I mean no I mean yeah Takamichi yeah. he he's getting knocked around as much as everyone else and he's still fucking getting up and that's made everyone look like shit yeah. we know he we know we stronger we know he's like the weakest nigga here and he's still getting up and so they like let's get up I remember That's that. charisma. I remember that was a really good moment too. Like seeing him keep fighting made them want to fight, and I was like, okay, I, I can see that. Nigga pointed a gun at his head, and he said, "Nah, nah, that don't matter. That don't matter. We gonna keep going. Mm. Shot him in the foot. We gonna keep going." I see. Okay, okay. I'm starting to see the appeal of Takamichi. My my thing is, it was just like. I'm just thinking like, okay, what if this was in real life, you know? Like, mm-hmm. you know, in real life, some, some nigga, they probably would have ran away or some shit, you know? Yeah. But like, but it's an anime, so I guess you don't have to be realistic all the time, you know? But so, I mean, like, he's kind of also fighting for like, his life and the life of the people that he loved because he did the, he, he did run away. He mm-hmm. already did that. Yeah. And he's like, I, I see where that leads to. I don't want to do that again. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, another thing I wanted to touch on, um, okay, so, do you remember Multi? I think that's what his name was, so, the guy that, like, beat the shit out of Takamichi, and, like, he had, like, I don't know, this military cut, 
And um, he beat the shit out of Takamichi. And, like, his right-hand dude was uh, Sanzu, the nigga with the mask. Remember? Type it. Type, type. Type of it. Okay, so... Okay, I found the picture. I don't know this nigga name though. Let me see. But let me just find this nigga name. Oh, okay. So I misspoke, guys. His name is Mucho. All right. So uh, let me see. How do I go back? Fuck. All right. So you married this dude, right? Mucho. I think I he's. Think- a- Oh, me. yeah, I remember. He was in the final battle, yeah. Yeah, Mucho, he's like, I think, fifth, fifth division. He he betrays Tomon and shit. Yeah. So, he, so his job in Tomon is to, like, weed out traitors and bring them to Mikey and shit. Mm-hmm. So, he presumes that um, Takamichi is a traitor for, for, I forget, I think it's for him associating with another game or some shit. So, he's like, oh, you a traitor, you know, I prove you're not a traitor or some shit. So he just beats the shit out of Takamichi. And at the end of that arc, fucking um, Sanzu, the nigga with the mask, I know you remember him at least. Basically, okay, let me, let me show you. <laughs> uh, This nigga. Oh, yeah. yeah and I guess he looks like this without the mask, you know. Oh yeah, I remember that nigga. Yeah, he yeah. was there. He was also there when like uh, wasn't he there when fucking like Takamichi was shot. Yeah, yeah, he was there. He was there. Yeah, Mikey told him to uh, step out because he wanted to talk to him and all that shit. <laughs> but 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 and shot his ass. But yeah, anyway, so so at the end of the battle and shit, um, or after this arc, Sanju just slices this nigga up on a boat and dumps his ass in the ocean. And Sanchez's like, yeah, I was never loyal to you. Mikey was my only uh, priority and shit. Yeah. So I'm just like, damn, because I didn't see it coming. And I was like, because, like, cause, you know, I always wondered, like, mm-hmm. the nigga with the mask, like, out of everybody who told me he was, like, the most mysterious, you know? So yeah. I was like, okay, what's his objective? Why is he in Tomin? Like, does he follow Mikey? So, but he made it seem like he was loyal to Mucho. Mm-hmm. But, like, I don't know, man. It's just one of those moments where, like, Fuck, like, I, why didn't, why couldn't I see it, you know? <laughs> so, but yeah, I just thought I'd point that out. Um, I, out of all the devs in to- Tokyo Avengers, I remember that the most, to be honest. So, oh, shit. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, another thing. Um, did you know the mangaka of uh, Tokyo Avengers was a real life gang member? Damn, I didn't know that. It was. Yeah. I saw his picture of him, and it looks like his uniform is really similar to Tomin, you know? <laughs> Holy so, shit, that's cool. That's cool as fuck. So I'm thinking, like, okay, it makes sense how he made a manga like this, and, you know? I fucking love those. I love the Link with fighting mangas. I love that shit. Yeah, like, uh, can you when, you, when you, when you say the Link with fighting, does anything else come to mind? Like, there's, I, there's one called Out, there's Abe Out, there's Crows, there's fucking, um, Great Teacher, Ozone, Awesome. I, or they just call it GTO? No, I mean, like, I don't know if you would really count that. I mean, that's, that's more focused on Onizuka being a teacher and shit, and not about, like, uh, fucking delinquent he's delinquent. a teacher but like he still got his his ways you know yeah I remember when he pulled up to the house smoking cigarette and shit like, yeah with no shirt on <laughs> <laughs> what, what this nigga had was that like a big ass hamburger or some shit yeah I forget uh, but, but fucking yes yeah, uh, delinquent fighting mangas those 
I really like those because they good. They do good on like just straight like. They have good stories in them. Mm. The way people interact, the fighting, just niggas trying to live their lives. Yeah. Uh, okay, so another, another thing I want to talk about. Uh, so, like, when it comes to Tokyo Avengers, bro, I was saying this earlier, the comparisons. Like, Fighting aside, the whole Tron travel thing reminds me of shit like a race, Steins Gate. Yeah, yeah. But but as far as Steins Gate is like, as far as time traveling goes, I think it's. Like I've the never best. watched Steins Gate. Steins Gate is. A, I hear about that. A bro, lot, when you figure out what's what's going on, it's a mind fuck. So like, you should definitely watch Steins Gate. Uh, yeah. it's been out for a while, so yeah, no, I know. So it's all. I heard Psycho oh, Head yeah. was like a pre Psycho Pass. I mean, no, Psycho Head. Yeah, Psycho, Psycho Head. Head. Psycho Head. Yeah, this is. I heard that was like pre. Like pre, like a. Like a pre anime or a pre pre shit. I forget what it's pre call or whatever, but yeah, like, it's both. It's events take before Steins Gate or some shit. Yeah, and um, mm-hmm. have you ever seen a race? A race is a yeah, I've seen one. a race. I read a race. Like it's just manga a race a- ending was better than the anime a race. Tell me about the ending in the manga, cause how did that go? Cause like it seemed pretty. I really wanted him to end up with con kind of, but I was like, okay, I guess you can't do that. He was in a motherfucking coma. <laughs> I, okay, I guess it makes sense. You know, that would have been. I don't know, but... And it was his boy like, damn it, you motherfucker. <laughs> you got in there while I was in a coma, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, she but had, whatever. She, she had moved on and everything, you know? But yeah, fucking, uh... Well, like, uh... Literally, he makes friends with this little girl in the hospital who I think got cancer or some shit. And he ends up, like, he Which finds out that... Which show is this? Erase. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what's happened in the manga. He makes friends with this little girl who got cancer in the hospital that he was in. And he kind of, like... He kind of knew... He knew who it was. And he knew what they were going to do. They were going to try and come after that little girl because that's his thing. Thing. And so he kind of waited for... For, like... uh, I kind of forget what happened, but it ends at a fucking lake and shit. But they got him. They got him. They got that. Yeah. Alright. A uh, few more things for Toby Avengers. Uh, so, I want to talk about some characters I didn't like, bro. Uh, obviously, Kas- Kasiki. K- Kisiki. Yeah, Kisiki. Nigga with the glasses. Um, yeah. Like, uh, the nigga's a schemer. Uh, is he smart? I, yeah, I guess. I don't think he's smart as somebody like Light. Or Lelouch. But he's he's pretty smart. I mean, honestly, you could very well he might as he might as well have been as smart. He was he was the only his only problem was he was emotional. But yeah, fucking he was just about as smart as them. He just had a nigga who could travel through time fucking up his plans. He literally succeeded multiple times. Mm. But that nigga just kept going back in time and fucking his plans, so... Yeah. Um, I, I know a character that I hated. Well, actually, he didn't even succeed. His goal was to get to... Was to date... To get... Date... Uh, no, marry Hina. Yeah. And so, she rejected him every time. So, damn, he doing all this shit because he got rejected. This reminds me of Obito. This reminds me of... Um, uh, what, what anime did some shit like this? Uh... Let's just say, let's say well, Oso, because he's like a prime example. So, you do all this shit because a girl doesn't want to marry you? Mm. Shit. That, I mean, Thanos fucking wielded the Infinity Gauntlet. This nigga's not Thanos. <laughs> this nigga impress have, death. This nigga doesn't have power in the palm of his hands. Yeah, I know. He's, he's just a regular nigga. And he did all that. And he did all that. He manipulated gangs. He he murdered niggas. He made a the greatest fucking uh, underworld organization in the in that fucking uh, Japan area, 
was it Tokyo? Yeah, to, yeah, yeah, Tokyo in the Tokyo area. So yeah, nah, nah. He's do you do? He was doing pretty well for himself. Yeah. Uh, I okay. Another character. Um, Pechin. Pachan. 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 He and Jerry. Like the fat dude, right? We're talking about. Yeah. He's yeah. So, so yeah. Um. Okay. I found this dude annoying, bro. It's just. Because, like... Okay, I get it. What do you it. mean? He, was, he wasn't even there for that long. Like, uh, hear me out, okay? Okay, so... He finds out what happens to his boy's girl. And I get he wants revenge and shit. But, like... The nigga's just... Throwing his weight around. Beating the shit out of Takamichi. Because um, that nigga's telling him, Nah, don't fight him. With no context. True, nigga just true. runs up. He's like, "Nah, you can't fight him." Uh, and, and, and like, what the fuck are you talking about? Who and who are you? He doesn't know who he is. Some nigga that you don't know just comes up and tells you, "Nah, you you can't. Don't fight him. Don't fight those guys." Even though what they did to one of his friends, he's like, "Nah, don't fight him." Who the fuck are you? I'm gonna beat your ass. Uh, okay, but like, I okay, but I feel like he's. Whatever, fine. Besides <laughs> that, I feel like he's kind of he's kind of dumb, don't you think? I mean, like, yeah, he, yeah. He, he that's, said he, this kind of the point. He's, he's yeah. just a nigga that knows how to fight. That's really it. I yeah, think. that was that's the point of his character. He dumb. Yeah, and then like when he's fighting that fight, I guess I forget his name. Like Osanai. Yeah, when he's fighting he's Osanai, he, he's getting the shit beat out of him. Yeah, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't stop, and he just like at this point. I think he was unconscious in that fight at some point. Yeah. So I'm just like, bro, stop. Then Mikey just stand there like, oh no, he got it, he got it. That was one of the dumbest moments. And so I was like, okay, you see, this nigga is like unconscious. Yeah. Bro, stop the fight, you know? Homie got... But Mikey got to like, get nah, he his... Got it, he he's got to get his in. He's got to get his in. He got to let him get his in. All right. And then his like his lieutenant, I think Pichon. Pet. Yeah. Pet pet on or something. Bro, this nigga didn't he snitch and like that's how they were able to find Draken in the battle of the A three? Like, no, some, it wasn't more like snitch. Somebody no, he set it up, basically. I'm like Yeah, he set it up and what, Osanai has stabbed um uh No, not Osanai. Uh, 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 it was like the guy the first guy that was bullying Takamichi. Yeah. So, so like, so Pichon, he set that shit up, and he allowed, I forget his name, to stab um, Draken. Cause they, and Mikey was, still let this nigga in the game. Yeah. So I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, okay. The reason he did all that is because he was pissed that they let Pe- Pichon go to jail. What the fuck is he supposed to do? Yeah, I know. Stay there and let everybody get arrested? Yeah. Pichon, I mean... I, mean, I guess Pachan could have ran, but like he was like, "No, nah, I gotta take responsibility for this." Like, I get okay. I'm just like, bro, how are I gonna be mad when he this he he chose to get arrested? You know? Yeah. He could have ran with y'all niggas, but he didn't. And like, and he like, was just being real, like mad emotional because your best friend just went to jail. Yeah. So like, um. I mean, Mikey said he didn't want him to get arrested either, but it just happened, you know? Like, if they would... I don't know, bro. Like, I, I, something about those characters bothered me. I'm kind of glad their arc is done. So now we can focus on Mikey's talking and shit, but, like... That arc was, like, in the first, like, with the... That's the first thing that happens. I just... I just didn't get it. It's like you said, emotional, I guess. Mm. They probably weren't thinking in the moment, but... Uh, but, yeah, um... Let's see. Do I have anything else on Tokyo Avengers? Hmm. Uh, okay. Like, let's we can talk about the current arc, I guess. So, um, you know, Tomo is disbanded. It's been like two years. Mm-hmm. Tokyo means come back ten years. Mm-hmm. So, um, so he's in a new game with uh, Jock can join a new game, right? And and I guess um, Brahmin. Who? Brahmin. That's Brahmin. the game. Yeah. That's the game. He's he's in a new game, so he joins the game, so he can like you know. Find Mikey and shit. He just like, and now he's like getting uh, visions of the future from like touching people. Yeah. So so what's the girl's name? This I forget is, her name. Uh, but but 
she's a girl, but she like a dude. I thought it was a dude too. But it was yeah, a, when I saw that shit, I was like, what the fuck? Huh? Nigga goes on a date with her in an amusement park, that, basically. Uh, oh, oh, okay. That was that was what I looked up. She was like, hey, let's go on a date. Just how did that shit go? Tell me about it. I don't care if I get spoiled. Oh, um, well, overall, it was a, a good time, and then uh, some niggas with guns ran up on him. I see. And was like because like the vision he was seeing was her like shot. Uh-huh. On the floor and like telling her like yeah, I did I did what I said I was gonna protect I did say I was gonna protect you. Mm-hmm. And so like when they came out with the guns, he jumped in front of them and them to stop the shots. But like fucking, uh, Draken came in and like he kicked that shit away, way and they ran and and they ran away and neither of them were shot. Mm. But Draken was shot ah, three shit. times, ah, fuck. and that's where that's the latest chapter. So Damn. I think Draken might be dead. Damn, he might die, bro. Fuck. He had three bullets in him, so I, and I don't, I don't know how he's gonna survive. Shit, honestly. he he wasn't supposed to survive the stab, man. I don't, I don't know how he can survive getting shot, man. So. Fuck, I'm gonna have to read up, man. But uh, okay, I see that's how it happens. Why do you die? Why do you like dying from that stab wound? Was felt silly to me. I was like, how do you die from that stab wound? I mean, shit, I'm assuming that shit punched like, the lung or some shit, right? Nah, he stabbed him like didn't he stab him right here? Nigga, that's like near your lungs, isn't look, it? On the side of you. Look, lungs more up here, bro. Right Nigga, here. it must have hit something, like his kidney or some shit. Like, come on. Oh no, I feel like they could have, they could have like covered living? that shit up and like you, you, you waited can't for live the that shit, So I feel like the he wouldn't die that quick, and then fucking, I feel like ambulance could have got there and helped him. I mean, I mean, okay, so they get to the hospital. Dragon survives and shit. Like that's another thing. When Dragon survived, that was like a really emotional moment, bro. I legit thought this dude was gonna die. I was like, "Fuck, bro! If he if he dies, if the future's gonna go to I was shit." Like, There's no way he's gonna fucking die, bro. Even Mike, he got emotional, bro. He was like, "Bro, I don't know what if I would have did if Jockin died." So like, there was no way he was gonna die. After the way I saw Takamichi carry that nigga, like, yeah, no, nah, he's not gonna die. He's mm-hmm. not gonna die. Uh, but um, but yeah, this latest chapter. Um, okay, the girl. Maybe I'll remember her name someday, but. So, I think it's. Why why did she like talking to you like right away? You know, is it because they went they went shopping? Is it because like? I mean, yeah, and there's also his usual charisma, how he goes about things. He's like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna protect everyone and shit. Mm-hmm. I see. It's but that she, usual main character charisma. But she asked him on a date, and they go on a date. Does he know he has a girlfriend, <laughs> or like? I don't know. I don't know. Well, like, it doesn't um, matter right now because we're in trouble. Doesn't matter. I see. But, um, but yeah, I guess that's all we... Unless you got anything else, uh, I guess that's all we got for Soccer Adventures, man. Yeah. Like, um, hey, we're loving this manga, bro. Like, uh, really, especially with this latest chapter, we're really curious to see how it's going to play out. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, like, uh, but, but yeah, like, uh, I did a lot of work to catch up and make sure that we can make this content for y'all. That way, I wouldn't be looking stupid. So, um, so yeah, thanks for listening in, man. Uh, if you like this video, go and leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, support us on our Instagram, Loudmakers. Uh, any send-offs? Uh, thank y'all for listening. <laughs> to us ramble and forget shit. Yeah, man, I hope y'all got like a lot of homework done and shit, because that's the only time I listen to podcasts. I do homework. <laughs> Uh, But yeah, um, I'm out of here. And we're out of here. See you. See ya.